Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. All right, so this is going to be a Leo Sun, Leo Moon, and as well Leo Rising weekly tarot reading for September 2nd to September 8th, 2019. And bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards, and uh, we are going to jump right into it. Whoops. Right, <clears throat> so that's good enough, I guess. And the first card which stands for the topic of your week is going to be the King of Pentacles, followed by the next one which represents the challenges that you need to overcome here throughout the week, that is going to be the Page of Swords. Then the third card, it is the positive aspect of the week, that is going to be the Seven of Wands. And then the last one that we do have here is the guidance that Saru is offering to you guys that is going to be uh, the uh, king of swords i don't know how really to explain it i mean uh, i do have the scene and the picture in my head here but don't know where to start from explaining it so it's like a um it's like a it's like that you have a good offer, right? You do have a good offer and you are contemplating on taking this offer and you do have as well another person that up until this point you were in a cooperation with and they get jealous, all right? And they try to, to, to sabotage that offer and etc. etc. That kind of a, uh, uh, that kind of a uh, flow, it is what we do have for you, Leo, throughout this week. That being said, before we see how these things are playing out, uh, let's run the cards one more time. So the first one here is going to be the King of Pentacles, followed by the next one, which is the Challenges, that is going to be the Page of Swords. Furthermore, we do have the Seven of Wands, which stands for the positive aspect. And the last one here is going to be the King of Swords, which represents the guidance the Tsar is offering. So uh, King of Pentacles, well, that represents a person which is going to stand out for you throughout the week. <clears throat> now the King of Pentacles, it's rather very calm and sedated person, someone who is um, basically doing things out of profit. But there is nothing wrong with that in your case because that person sees you as a, uh, a source of profit, but not on your personal account. In a sense of that, <clears throat> you know, the King of Pentacles is... Um, is generous, okay, but only if there is something in return for them as well. So that could be a business offer from a businessman that will require from you to pretty much bust your ass for the money that he is going to give you and etc, uh, etc. Et now, the reason, uh, the, the, what you need to know here when that person steps out, regardless if this is going to be a business proposition or a relationship proposition here, you need to know that they do have something in mind. And while it is good to take their offer with a grain of salt, right? <clears throat> in the same time, 
you need to know that this person here is also willing to give in return. The accompanied card is going to be the Four of Swords formation. It is a, a passive enemies and pretty much they have made up their mind. This, this card here to the King of Pentacles points that they do have serious, it's not even that a serious deliberation, but it is more like they don't want to hear about a, a, a different options. You are their plan B either for a business endeavor or for a, for a relationship endeavor or for whatever endeavor. You are their plan A and they don't want to resort into plan B, C and all the way to the plan Z, okay? So what I see here, it is that their proposition or an offer, you know, is going to be more than just generous, but it's not going to be charitable, all right? They do not make charity. So the uh, challenges that you need to overcome here comes another person that is going to be the page of swords <clears throat> person who, especially in a negative position, uh, it, it very s skillfully can present fictions as facts. And so imagine it that way, you do have that good offer with a lot of benefits for yourself or with, with a lot of lucrivity around that comes, all right? And this one, it's trying to convince you out of it by spreading lies. I, I don't even can comprehend how it comes to be, but let's say that this person uh, comes around with a proposition for a relationship, right? And this one here, the Page of Swords, start talking about uh, things that they have no clue about. For example, that this one is abusive or they have a wife or, or a husband or these kind of stuff, things that are unvalidated. So whenever you hear uh, throughout the week, um, kind of like a, a negative feedback, if I may classify it that way, it will be best if you check what you know against uh, uh, if what you hear, excuse me, against the reality or what you know to be true. So in another words, in order to overcome this uh, challenge here, you need to make your research about any kind of proposal that comes in your way throughout the week, Leo. The accompanied card is going to be the uh, Six of Cups formation. It is a uh, active neutrals here. With the Six of Cups, now that person, it's just, it's a drama queen, if I may express it that way. That person leeches and feeds from the, uh, um, from the despondency of the other surrounds. Uh, for this one, <clears throat> excuse me, for this one, uh, the motto isn't that we all should be good, you know, but the motto is, it doesn't, it doesn't matter if I'm in a bad spot, all that matters is the rest, everybody around me, it's in the bad spot, okay? So the positive aspect here throughout the week is going to be the uh, seven of wands and pretty literally this card points that you do have the strength to hold your ground or in other words to deflect you know these verbal attacks because they're not going to be any kind of other attacks but just a verbal attacks from this person. Um, I don't know if you're familiar with uh, the people that are called sophists Basically, what sophist is, is the master of the argument. Now, even if what they say is untrue, they um, kind of are capable to convince anybody in the righteousness of their standpoint, even if um, <clears throat> everybody else knows that that's not true. So, in other words, these are people who can say that the white is black and convince you into it. And there are such people. You know, so pretty much uh, as a positive aspect here, you will have the strength to deflect such a, a verbal attacks and such a, a verbal, it's not even a humiliation, but more like a, a, a bruising here. Additionally to that, the seven of wands says that you're going to be quick as well on timings. Okay, you aren't going to miss any kind of um window of opportunity regardless of what that opportunity presents you know in order to sustain your ground once again and to uh, guard your domain or rather like yeah guard your estate the accompanied card here is going to be the king the knight of swords excuse me so seven of wands and the knight of swords they are a active friends and in this case, the Knight of Swords here points that regardless of what you hear, regardless of what you see, all right, and regardless of uh, how you 
uh, how the, the, the whole thing is presented to you, either a career or a relationship, and it doesn't have to be just only one thing, all right? But whatever situation or endeavor comes in your way throughout the week, you always consult your emotions with, with, with your logic as well, or in other words, guys, you will do only what you are, uh, what you are uh, comfortable of doing, and no one will be able to enforce you do something that you don't want to, because you're gonna have the strength here, like I said, to guard your ground and to deflect attacks from uh, attacks, excuse me, from anybody else. And the last card it is the guidance, which is the um, King of Swords. <clears throat> so here, the King of Swords pretty much says uh, that you do have the authority and you should use that authority, all right? People which are trying to mess with you or situations which are trying to mess with you pretty well know that it is enough for you to say no, okay? But they also uh, they also kind of understand your, I don't want to say reluctive uh, nature, but more like calculative nature and in trying to break through exactly from that, uh, from that angle. So here the uh, King of Swords uh, urges you to uh, rely on your, um, I would say, intellectual strength, okay? And before you decide what you are going to do, make a careful analysis over the situation. Just like we said in the, in the uh, Page of Swords portion of the reading, that you need to, whatever you hear or whatever you see, you need to always compare it against what you know to be true. Uh, the accompanied card is going to be the Magician, the uh, combo, it is a uh, active supporters that we do have, exceptional communicational skills, you know, uh, basically when you make your point, there won't be any chance that that point can be, um, can be overruled or can be argued about, all right, whatever action you do, there will be, there will be no chance by the, by the rest of the people around you to object your actions and etc, etc. That's why they will try to, um, undermine your opinion, okay, to deprive you from opportunity to act through words, through lies. So you have to prepare yourself, apart from this, a, a good proposition to hear a lot of lies about it, all right, a lot of lies about it. And it doesn't have to be just from one person, it could be from many people as well. <clears throat> and you do not, you should not believe to celluloid statements and to fairy tales. So that being said, Leo, this was your weekly tarot reading for September 2nd to September 8, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys, and uh, we are going to see each other around. Until then, bye.